In this video, we're going to share five powerful manifestation secrets that work when nothing else seems to work. Now, this is very powerful. It's extremely powerful. And I urge you to use these secrets only for good. Hi everyone, Robert Zink, Miracle Mentor and Alchemy Life Coach. And today we are soaring high like a big, beautiful eagle. We're flying in the direction of your dreams and your goals. So today we're talking about five secrets, very powerful techniques that will help you manifest whatever it is you desire to manifest, whatever it is no matter what. And you may have tried everything under the sun, but these techniques always work. They are foolproof, but I urge you to be responsible with these techniques, to use them only for good because they are extremely powerful. So people tend to want the easy way. They tend to want to just, just fix my problem. Just fix my problem. They don't want to really learn and grow. So this video may not be for you. If you're not one of those people that really wants to learn, grow and expand your personal power and the law of attraction, uh, then maybe this video isn't right for you. But if you are, this is the video, you know, it's just people want the easy way, but I know because you're a high flyer, you're willing to put in a little extra time and effort. So I urge you to stay with me through the entire video because it will become a little bit complicated at times. All outer reality, everything that we see in our outer reality is a reflection of our inner reality. It's a reflection of who we are. So think about that. Everything that you see in your world, your relationships, your conditions at work, your income, everything is a reflection of you. It's you pushed out. In other words, what we're talking about is we're talking about using a different type of method to activate the law of attraction the law of vibration. You see, the law of attraction is really just a subset of the law of vibration. Now magic people say, well, I don't, I don't believe in magic, Robert. Well, listen to me. Magic is simply the control of vibrational energies. People have learned over the centuries, over thousands of years, how to control vibrational energies. And by shifting these energies, even slightly, they shift outer reality. They make new changes in the world that we live in. And that's exactly how magic works. Magic isn't evil. It's just think of it this way. Magic is a radio and you've got thousands of frequencies coming through your room. Magic allows you to tune in to a specific frequency that you wish to manifest. So that's what magic is. We're going to be using some techniques that are based on the tradition of magic. Now it doesn't make any difference whether you are a member of Islam or Hinduism or Christianity. We're not going to teach you anything that's in violation of your spiritual beliefs. So stay with me on this. Magic works through sounds. It works through symbols. It works through colors and it works through archetypes. So symbols and sounds and colors, these are all used in a magical ceremony or a magical operation to awaken the subconscious mind, which is the connecting link to the infinite field of potential. So you will usually find all of these factors involved in deep magical ceremonies. We use them in our society all the time. We look at the American flag. There it is. We get goosebumps. There's a symbol. 
There's symbols everywhere. Symbols of the president of the United States, symbols of money, symbols of love, symbols of everything. Symbols awaken latent powers. So stick with me on that. That's important to keep that in the back of your mind. Symbols awaken latent powers that you have already. You already have these powers. Why? Because God is fully in you and you are fully in God. It's a paradox that is beyond the explanation of any YouTube video, but suffice it to say that everything that is out there, including God is in here. Okay. The key to connecting to higher vibrations and what you deeply desire, what you deeply, really, really, really desire has everything to do with higher vibrations and very little to do with lower vibrations. Let me explain money. We'll use money as an example here. Money has higher vibrations and money also has lower vibrations. So lower vibrations would be want, greed, envy, want, greed, and envy. There are some other lower vibrations that go along with money as well, but want, greed, and envy are pretty. Now listen, when you're in a state of want, you're in a state of not having. And when you're in a state of not having, you are in a state of attracting more, not having you're in a state of attracting more of what you want and not getting it. So that's why I put want up here rather than have. Okay. Want, greed, envy, but let's take a look at the lower emotions or the higher, I should say the higher emotions. I wrote these backwards, but that's okay. The higher emotions in green abundance, giving charity, love. So you have to decide what aspect of money you wish to invoke into your energy field and eventually into your life. You don't want to be invoking this stuff. This is lower vibrational energy. You want to be invoking the green that's higher vibrational energy and same with love, lust, jealousy, neediness, lower vibrational energies in the black, but agape charity, caring, loyalty. These are all higher vibrational energies. This is where you want to put your energy. This is where you want to put your effort, your, your force, so to speak. So high flyers understand this higher vibrational energies, according to the ancient teachings, the ancient scriptures and the ancient Kabbalah, which is Jewish mysticism comes from up from above down. So think of this, this drawing here as an example of the human body. There are three pillars, the pillar of severity, Arr, severity. I've got will, I've got power. I'm strong. The pillar of mercy. I love, can't we all just love each other? Can't we all just get along? Can't we all just give love to each other? So on one hand we have mercy. On the other hand, we have severity. The middle pillar is called the middle, uh, it's called the pillar of mildness because, and this is very important. If you have too much mercy, too much mercy energy allows evil to go unchecked too much severity becomes evil itself. So both of these extremes, mercy and severity when left unchecked or unbalanced, uh, can become negative energies, so to speak. The middle pillar is where we bring the energy down and we bring it through our crown, which is right here. We bring that energy down through our body, all the way down and covering our feet from above our head. It's not at our head. It's above our head, through our head, all the way down through the body and covering 
your feet. Okay, so you would do some breathing in. The fourfold breath or box breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And as you breathe in, you're breathing the white light, the infinite light down through your body. Now you're going to do that for a minute or two, maybe three. And once you, you kind of feel that state where you feel your ego mind and your higher self coming together and uniting. It's just, it's an undeniable feeling. So when you feel that high flyers, when you feel that simply visualize whatever it is that you desire, see it clearly in your mind's eye. You don't have to see it for a minute. You don't have to see it for 10 minutes. You can see it for as little as 30 seconds, but see it in your mind's eye. The second technique, keeping that white light coming down the middle pillar, the pillar of mildness, breathing in, seeing exactly what it is that you desire. Now, remember that Neville Goddard said, we don't pray to God. We pray as God because God is within us. Within us is God. So, we pray as God, we make a, declara a declaration. I declare that I am manifesting and then fill in the blank, whatever it is you desire, an incredible loving relationship, a new home, a higher income, and then see the amount, but you make a declaration and you declare it as God within you. Well, number three is kind of fun. Number three is keeping that energy flowing in your body. You take a piece of paper and a pen and you just let your mind go where it wants to go. And you create what they call a telesmatic image. Now this telesmatic image doesn't mean anything to your conscious mind, but it does mean something to your subconscious mind. So you cut it out, you put it on your bathroom mirror. And every time you look at it, even after you've stopped thinking about it, every time you look at it, you will be awakening your subconscious mind and you will be awakening your latent powers. Remember, awakening your latent powers. That's so important. Number four, I love this term. You just keep your, your eyes closed. And one of the things that happens is that we attract, we attract resistance because we're bringing in so much light energy that it, it's like, you know, it's like moths to a flame. The moths come around too. That's the lower vibrational negative energy. So you attract negative energy or resistance to whatever it is you desire. So you simply close your eyes, put your hands together and vibrate these words. And I'll have them printed down below for you. Hey, cause, hey, cause, este babeloy. Now it is believed that those sacred words opened the entire Eleusinian mysteries in ancient Greece. So those mysteries were about removing negative energy, about clearing oneself and about living at a higher state of vibration. And finally, number five is what I call quantum shift gratitude. You become so grateful, so entrenched in gratitude. Maybe you literally, because you could literally lock out an entire day, block out, I should say an entire day and just spend the whole day in deep quantum shift gratitude because you want to shift timelines. You want your gratitude so strong that it literally pulls you to the timeline that you are grateful for. And that is a timeline of abundance and love 
and joy and prosperity and happiness. Now it works. I've used it. I've used it for many years. I've taught variations of this for 40 years. I promise it works, but this is extremely powerful. So use it only for good. Here's some videos you might want to check out.